These are LPs at the time, which were pressed at my behest. Do you know what I would like, Pitman? I would really like a recording of was a symposium. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I really oh, would like, symposium. absolutely. He put together the Musicana Symposium, which consisted of um, artistic pieces. Yeah. Absolutely, because we were all involved in that. Yeah. There was this talent, there was this raw talent that was there. At that time, I was a student of drama at Clarendon College, also a student of classical piano music. So I thought it would be the correct thing to incorporate some of my inquiry and my learning and infuse this organization with all sorts of things. Not only were we looking at the academic side of things, we were looking at the cultural and social side of, 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 of that situation and looking at raw talent. How do you bring out that raw talent, talent uh, yeah. in that situation? This was a drama piece that I did that was just wonderful. I just listened to it after many years of not hearing it and it just took me back. I was inviting the students to appreciate this whole business of projection, personality development, deportment, self-esteem, finding themselves again. Hearing yourself after so many years and knowing just exactly what that did for you. Well, I mean, I remember the lace market experience so well. I remember the French music. Fugue and whatever else. But the music on this symposium also brought out potential that was there that we hadn't probably fully appreciated at that time. Mm. Uh, and I think those people's ability mm. to deliver a line, to yeah. actually yes. take breath and to engage in a situation in a performing way, yeah. has assisted their life mm. um, development ever since. As so many of the other ones that um, was a part of the symposium have now passed on. Um, one, one gentleman in particular has passed on and Mr. Brown was able to um, play this piece back to his daughter who had never heard it and could hear her father as a young man. So you did do some interesting work, some groundbreaking work. Oh, thank you. Oh, you yes. made me feel. <laughs> <laughs> you did, though. You did. Mm. You did, yes. You had vision, and that was what's important. So often we go through life and we haven't got vision. We just go on an everyday, mundane existence. But people with vision, you know, sort of. Thank you. My task here and now is to try and give credit to an organization that lived, after all, only five years and I have to say that at that time not only did Eric Irons, the first magistrate within our community to be installed as such come to our aid but others in train came to help us and I must give some credit to Mr. George Lee for turning up to our AG and George Lee was supportive of us just like Eric Irons. So I must say that stand up and say that the five years engendered by the likes of an organization like the Nottingham West Indian Students Association has brought forth fruit and we are proud. Vina Case Winter, she became the star of the attraction. She usually planned beauty contests for the organization, invite pretty young girls to come and join. And at the last minute, when we all assembled at the Sherwood Roads and a ball, up to a thousand people turned up to see this and this dream is walking with the crowd. And she kept doing this thing. Her next follow up, Lavonne White, she always ended up second, but never complaining. Lavonne White, yes, Lavonne White is still in Jamaica. Lavonne runs a company, I am not sure about what it is, hmm. but she runs a company. Louis Morgan was a distinguished 
soloist at, at the time in London. He was also an actor at Battersea Unity Theatre. But Norma Winter, Norma left Nottingham. And years later she became a nurse. But guess what? That was not the end of it. She went on, just like Winsome Henry. She studied law and she graduated as an LLB and she went on to become a barrister. Orette Bertie. Hilton, yes. yes. We call Orette. him Bertie, but yes. his name was really Orette. Orette. Yes. yes, Bertie. Now, Bertie was Paul Hilton's brother. And he, he actually went on to London to work for British Telecom, BT. And then he got a job with um, Radio Jamaica, RJR. Yes. Um, and quite an important job with yeah. them. And then he left and started working for himself, yes. So mm. he's still in Jamaica. There is Winsome Henry. Now, Winsome is a judge. She still is functioning in the capacity of a high court judge at court in the There is John Ray. John became our first teacher within this organization to be installed. He went on for 12 years at Morley Junior in St. Anne's. But his graduation was more like the turning point of people now beginning to access opportunities as they came. And there was also George Vaughan, George. who became deputy at Huntingdon Street. Yes, yes, when I was doing my teaching practice. Um, I became an inspector of schools, general. Um, so that means that, you know, I could inspect schools anywhere in the country. The, the organization was beginning to produce fruits. What is so important about Ainsley Deer? He did the organization proud in the sense that he became the first entry to succeed in attaining university status. He went on to Manchester University and a, a proud bus driver at that time, his name was Tony Robinson, who years later he became sheriff of not he drove, he was so proud that he drove him all the way from Nottingham to Manchester. Ainsley Deer, who is probably one of the youngest member of that team, is now a PhD. You know, he's a he's Dr. Deer.